If you're an Apple fan or just love staying up to date with the latest tech, you're in the right place. Today, we're diving into some exciting news about the upcoming iPhone 16 Pro. We've got fresh leaks that suggest a major change in the color options for this year's model. So let's get right into it. First off, let's talk about the buzz surrounding the iPhone 16 Pro's color. Earlier this month, a leak showed the iPhone 16 Pro Max in a color that was, well, let's just say it was a bit unexpected. The images reveal a brownish hue that had a bronze-like tint. While some people liked it, it didn't exactly win everyone over. It was a pretty polarizing color, to say the least. But here's the twist. According to a new leak from a well-known source, the actual color isn't what we initially thought. The color in question is now expected to be closer to gold rather than brown. So, if you were worried about your new iPhone looking too earthy, you might just be in luck. Now let's get into the details. This new gold-like color is reportedly going to be called Desert Titanium. According to Imagine Boo, a reliable leakster on X, formerly Twitter, Desert Titanium will be a dark gold color. It's expected to have a more subtle, sophisticated vibe, similar to the older purple shade we saw on the iPhone 14 Pro. This color is shaping up to be a more refined option, offering a deep, discreet look for the iPhone 16 Pro lineup. It's a departure from the usual bright and flashy colors we see in the past, but it definitely has its charm. So what other colors can we expect? Alongside Desert Titanium, Apple is introducing a few more options in the iPhone 16 Pro series. Here's the lineup. One, white titanium two, black titanium three, natural titanium. As you can see, Apple is sticking with the titanium theme across the board. Interestingly, this means we're saying goodbye to some of the colors we've seen in previous models. The natural and blue options seem to be getting the book this year, which might disappoint some fans. There's also been talk about a possible rose gold variant, but it's still unclear if that's going to happen or if it's been replaced by desert titanium. But wait, the changes don't stop at color. Apple is reportedly making some significant design updates with the iPhone 16 Pro series. One of the most notable changes is the way the camera lenses are positioned. For the first time since the iPhone 12, we're seeing the dual camera aligned vertically. Also, the square camera island that's been a staple since the iPhone X is reportedly gone. This marks a major design shift, making the iPhone 16 Pro look fresh and different from its predecessors. Now let's talk about size. Apple is giving the iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max a bit of a size boost this year. The iPhone 16 Pro is expected to feature a larger 6.3-inch display up from the 6.1-inch OLED panel on the iPhone 15 Pro. Meanwhile, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is rumored to have a 6.9-inch display, which is slightly bigger than the 6.7-inch screen on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. But that's not all. The iPhone 16 Pro series is also expected to pack some serious camera upgrades. One of the most exciting rumors is about the new Tetra Prism Periscope Telephoto Lens, which would offer a 5x optical zoom. In addition to the telephoto lens, both Pro models are rumored to include an ultra-wide camera backed by a 48-megapixel sensor. This should result in stunning photos and videos, especially in little light conditions. And let's not forget the A18 Pro application processor, built on TSMC's second-generation 3-nanometer process node. This new chip is expected to bring improved performance and efficiency, be more powerful and responsive, capable of handling even the most demanding tasks with ease. What do you think about the new Desert Titanium color? Are you excited about the design changes and new features? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. In just a few months time, the iPhone 16 Pro Max will succeed the iPhone 15 Pro Max and take on the mantle as the best and most advanced iPhone out there. Although there's plenty of time until September and a lot can change, we seem to know a lot about the upcoming top iPhone model based on rumors and leaks. How is the iPhone 16 Pro Max shaping up against its predecessor? What's changing and what's staying the same? Let's see how the iPhone 16 Pro Max shapes up against the current best iPhone Apple has in its roster. First up, let's talk about design and size. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will inherit the same design language as the iPhone 15 Pro Max, employing the same titanium frame with a completely flat screen. The major difference between the iPhone 16 Pro Max and the iPhone 15 Pro Max will be size. The upcoming iPhone screen will grow to 6.9 inches across a significant bump over the iPhone 15 Pro Max's 6.7 inch display. To achieve this, they're likely shrinking the bezels down even further and making the phone itself slightly larger overall. As per the rumors, the iPhone 16 Pro Max will measure 163 millimeter in height and 77.58 millimeter in width versus 159.9 millimeter and 76.7 millimeter 
for the iPhone 15 Pro Max, respectively. A small but notable change, all things considered. The iPhone 15 Pro Max debuted with an action button instead of a mute switch and a USB Type-C port at the bottom, so those two features will be carrying over to the newer model as well. However, the iPhone 16 series will be scoring another button, dubbed the Capture Button. Colors-wise, the iPhone 15 Pro Max was available in four understated and titanium-inspired colors. We've heard that Apple might use another titanium processing technique that will make the iPhone 16 Pro Max glossier and also more capable of retained colors. Moving on to display differences. As mentioned, the iPhone 16 Pro Max will come along with a significantly larger display, measuring at 6.9 inches across. Aside from the size, we don't clearly expect any other major changes. We're certainly getting a liquid Retina XDR display with an OLED panel delivering superb colors, contrast, and exceptional maximum brightness. The screen will support 120Hz promotion refresh rate, making scrolling through the interface and on-screen content way smoother. Now let's delve into performance and software. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will feature a second-generation 3 nanometer chip, possibly dubbed Apple A18 Pro. As one can imagine, we expect that the Apple A18 Pro will have better performance than the Apple A17 Pro. Due to the heavily rumored focus on AI for both iOS and the iPhone 16 range, we expect that the iPhone 16 Pro Max will come with a much improved neural engine to take care of all the generative AI features. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will also be a first to debut iOS 18 with a focus on artificial intelligence features. The new iPhone 16 Pro Max will also support faster Wi-Fi 7 and a more power-efficient 5G modem, keeping you future-proofed on the connectivity front. Let's talk about the camera. As the iPhone 15 Pro Max deliver a host of important camera features, chief among which is the new 120mm telephoto lens, the iPhone 16 Pro Max can finally address one of the forgotten cameras that hasn't recently scored any significant overhauls, the ultra-wide. Analyst Ming-Chi Ko believes that Apple will be introducing a 48-megapixel ultra-wide camera on the iPhone 16 Pro Max. When it comes to audio quality, iPhone Pro Max devices are always up there with the best, setting the benchmarks for all other manufacturers to measure up against. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will be no exception. The same generally applies to haptics too. iPhones are arguably the best devices when it comes to haptic feedback, giving us precise and accurate vibrations that are sufficiently strong yet not overpowering. Lastly, battery life and charging. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will reportedly feature a much larger 4,676 mAh battery compared to the 4,422 mAh battery in the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Charging-wise, we haven't heard anything about a potential charging speed increase, but we hope to see one on the iPhone 16 Pro Max. So far, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is shaping up to be a logical improvement to the iPhone 15 Pro Max delivering key upgrades in important areas like screen size, performance, AI, and battery life. Thus far, we haven't heard anything particular about a potential price increase, so it's safe to assume that the iPhone 16 Pro Max will start at $1,199 for the 256GB version. Of course, if there's an iPhone 15 Pro Max in your pocket, then you'll probably have few reasons to upgrade to the iPhone 16 Pro Max. Stay tuned for more updates on the iPhone 16 Pro Max as we get closer to its release date. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for the latest tech news and reviews. Thanks for watching. Until next time.